Welcome to RS450, Sustainability, Community, and Society. This is our first lecture. We have two lectures a week. We'll have some readings and some assignments. I'm going to try to guide you through this discussion about how sustainability touches all of our lives and impacts the work that we do or the way that we live. I invite everybody to take a look at the syllabus. The syllabus describes the course, the overview, what we're going to try to accomplish, and there's some very important reading materials that I'm going to ask you to get your hands on. One of them you're going to have to buy, which is the Global Warming Reader by Bill McKibben. It's available either as a hard copy or an ebook. So if you can get your hands on that uh, in the next week or so, I'm going to sign readings probably in week two. First lecture to set the tone for the course is called Why Sustainability? And it's important for us to set the tone and paint the canvas for where we are I start my lectures typically with a quote from John Muir, a 19th century environmentalist, founder of the Sierra Club, and somebody who wrote prolifically about his relationship to the environment. I do this for a couple of reasons. We're going to try to also take inspiration from our environment. We're not necessarily going to go off into the woods or the mountains, as John Muir would call us to do, but we're going to reflect on the world around us and the environment around us, whether we live in cities or towns or whether we go out into nature from time to time. But the connection with nature is very, very important to us. 